Simple Network Management Protocol, or SNMP. The SNMP protocol is commonly used to gather statistical information from networking devices. It can grab all kinds of information, such as bandwidth consumption, um, ports, uh, whether they're on or off, um, names of machines. All this information can be gathered together and is usually used to manage an entire network. Some variables gathered can also be set using the SNMP protocol tools. SNMP typically operates on UDP ports 161 and 162. 161 for normal communication and 162 for traps or indications when there is a problem. There is a management information base and well, this is for information. SNMP provides a lot of infor information. Each individual element of information can be addressed with a hierarchical dotted decimal number called an object identifier or OID. The object identifier for system name or host name is 1.3.6.1.2.1.5.1.5 and this has multiple different pieces in it and the very first one which would be the system name is dot zero. So if you have more than one name, it might be a dot one and dot two, and it kind of increments up. To make things easier, the MIBs provide names for the numbers. You could get the same host name with that number above, or you can also use either system.sysname.0 or sysname.0. So those are a little bit simpler, easier to read and recognize and remember as well. Community strings. SNMP does not want to provide information to just anyone, so it requires a password called a community string. There are two default community strings. For read-only information collecting, you can use the default community string public. For read-write information collecting and setting, you can use the default community string private. SNMP uses the UDP protocol and the server ignores messages with the incorrect community string, so you do not know if datagrams were dropped or ignored. It's kind of confusing, makes it difficult. You send it out, you wait 10 seconds, nothing comes back, you say, well, it didn't work. But that could be because your community string is being ignored and there is no reply. Many network devices have active SNMP support the administrators are not aware of. It's very common for printers, for example, to have SNMP support turned on and running, and they might have both the public and the private community strings available. So you might be able to do all kinds of fun things with the printer, and the administrator wouldn't even know how you're getting in. Sometimes you have routers or wireless devices or cameras that all have SNMP support turned on and running. So you need to make sure you turn things off that should not have it running. Most SNMP messages are not secure. They send things in plain text, they come back in plain text. If you want to intercept something, you want to see what the community string is, just watch the line, see what it is. So some useful packages, net SNMP provides the SNMP server. Net SNMP Utils provides some utilities for performing queries and making changes. So you can do your SNMP get, SNMP set, your SNMP walk, all kinds of activities and, and utilities right there. When you're trying to configure the server, you need to go and edit the etc SNMP SNMPD.com file. One of the most common changes people make is change the community string. You'd want to probably make it not be public. So you find the line that says com2sec not config user default public, and you can change the string to something else. For example, aloha123, which is also a super secure and secret password that no one will ever guess. The SNMPD service needs to be started in order to start listening. You need to use the systemctl command to start the SNMPD server. So just use systemctl start SNMP 
D, and you can use the dot service if you want. Other options include stop, restart, status, enable, and disable. Enable is for making it start at boot time, and disable is to make it so it doesn't start at boot time. In addition to having the service running, you need to make sure you can get through the firewall. You can add the service to the firewall with the firewall-cmd space dash dash add dash service equals SNMP. And if you want to make it permanent, make sure you add the dash dash permanent option to the end of that. And it will make it permanent. You can verify if the service is in the active firewall using the firewall-cmd space dash dash list dash all command. And that will tell you which services are in the firewall. If you have it working, you might want to verify it's working. So you can use the S and the SNMP client, which is provided or the client utilities provided by Net SNMP Utils. And I would recommend using the SNMP get and the SNMP walk commands to test your server. The following two lines assume your community string is Aloha123 and you are just connecting to your local host, although you can put the IP address of the server you're connecting to if you have the firewall open. When you do the SNMP get and the SNMP walk commands, you want to make sure you pass the SNMP version. You can use 2C or 1, and you want to make sure you pass the community string with the minus C option right there. In the top one, you are getting the system name or the host name, so it's sysname.0, and the SNMP walk, you're going to walk the entire system set of information. So sysname would be one of those items in the system set. And it'll just list a whole bunch of them, walk through it until it runs out of responding OID values. For troubleshooting, you want to make sure your DNS server is set correctly. Sometimes when you're trying to look things up by name, it can be a problem. You want to make sure you can talk to the SNMP server. You can ping it. You can port scan it. Make sure it's up. Make sure the firewall is correct. You can check your logs. You want to make sure the community string is correct. If you change it, you want to make sure you change your commands you're using to talk to it. You want to make sure you have the correct object name. And if you're having trouble talking to it, try something you know will work. So sysname.0. It's a good one to try. You also want to make sure the service is running. So you can use the net stat minus tuna p command to get a list of what services are there. And that is the end of this chapter.